Now I'm going to show you how to add thread to a bobbin once it's empty. This is your bobbin with no thread on it. So you need to add more to it. So in order to do that, you will take a, uh, a spool of thread and um, first put it on your spool pin. Um, always check for the, uh, the little notch in the top of or on one end of your uh, spool, if you can see it there, that's my notch. I have marked it on the top with a little black marker. So always put that to the back. So I'm going to take the cap off. Darn it, I don't know. I can't get that to stop shaking, but um, put it to the back, put the cap back on. Make sure you always keep a good handle on where this cap is. They're easy to lose. You do need it for sewing. Um, then your, um, your machine has little diagrams on how to properly thread it. The, uh, the dashed line here shows the bobbin threading. So we're going to come under the, the same tab that we did for threading the, the, the upper thread of the machine. Come under this tab in the back, come around, and then following the dashed line we want to go underneath this little um, circle tab here. It's a thread tensioning for the bobbin winding. And then you're going to come over to here with the thread. So try to do this without covering it up. All right, come back there. I'm underneath the tab in the back and then I'm going to come underneath here. Take that. And then holding this down, we're providing a little tension. We're going to push it. Oops, damn it. I can't see that. Push it underneath this tensioning dial, I'll call it, not dial, tab, I guess. And then before we come over to here, we need to thread this. There are little holes. There's a little round hole there. You want to thread from the inside out um, like that, coming up through the top. Then come over here and place it on the tab, push it all the way in. And then in order to kind of uh, set the machine up for actually winding it, you're going to push this over. Well, let me bring the camera over here first. See it a little bit better. Okay, there's my thread. I'm going to hold that and then just push this over to the right to engage it. And then holding on tight to this, you don't want to lose the thread. You're going to, oh, my camera is not liking this. Huh. Now I'm going to step on the presser foot to get it started. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have my machine turned on. I have the machine turned on and then I can do it. And watch carefully to the thread. And actually, mine popped off. Um, no, it didn't. Never mind. Keep a hold of it. Keep going. I always keep an eye. Let me show you what I thought happened. Over here. Make sure this thread stays underneath this tab. If it comes out, it won't thread gent um, smoothly. And it's important that this thread smoothly. So let me hold on to here again. And I'll keep going. I'll remind you to keep a, an eye on that tension dial. And as, once it's gone a little ways, you can let go of this string, but I would recommend that if you do decide to let go of it, you want to cut it off because you don't want it to get tangled in the thread. So just cut it off right at the top and you can keep going. This only takes a minute or so, generally but I won't use up the video to do that. I'll just say it's filled. Do not fill past this. You don't want to overfill it. But once you have filled it, I am either full or just put on enough thread that you think is enough for your project. Sometimes people do that. You cut the thread off here. Then press this over to the left. Pull it up. And then you have, now you have some thread on your bobbin. All right, thank you.